Antimony trioxide would be considered toxic under the Federal Hazardous Substance Act. I just read that out of the Consumer Product Safety Commission's own risk assessment. They're admitting to you that the fire retardant chemical antimony is considered toxic. It is heavy metal, and in fact, it's more toxic than mercury. Now, I had a lady from Illinois a couple of years ago contact me and said she has permanent neurological damage from her big brand name mattress that she bought. She had it about a year. She had tremendous health issues like me tremendous memory loss, fatigue issues. Those were the two biggest symptoms. She went to doctor after doctor after doctor that couldn't figure it out. She finally got a hair analysis done and the antimony was off the charts. She sent me a sample of her mattress and I sent it off to get it tested. This is the fire barrier sock. This is what contains the chemicals. So I sent it to a lab, had it tested. It had 3,500 times the level of antimony that is considered safe. The Consumer Product Safety Commission requires mattresses to be flame retardant, looking out for consumers, right? But they didn't regulate how much chemicals the mattress industry can use. So her mattress was overdosed. In fact, it would almost indicate that it was purposefully overdosed. I could talk to you more about that later. But anyway, how would you like to sleep in mattresses that are overdosed with heavy metal? Listen, you don't want to sleep in toxic chemicals. Go to sleepessentials.com. I'm going to give you a wealth of information about mattresses and show you how not to sleep in toxic chemicals. That's sleepessentials.com. I'm Lee Carter. Thank you for watching.